welcome to my brand new channel called Hyperparameter. In this futuristic channel, I'm going to talk about AI, AI's application and how AI is going to change the world. So stay tuned. So you might have heard the term artificial intelligence thrown around a lot lately. But what does it actually mean? In simple terms, AI refers to machines or computer programs that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. These tasks can include things like recognizing patterns, making decisions, solving problems, and even understanding and processing language like we do in our day-to-day -day conversations. Let's look at some real-life examples of AI. Ever use voice assistants like Siri or Alexa? Yep, that's AI in action. When you ask them questions or give them commands, they use natural language processing and AI technique to understand what you're saying and provide relevant responses. Another example is personalized recommendations you get on platforms like Netflix and YouTube. AI algorithms analyze your viewing habits to suggest shows or videos that you might enjoy. Now let's talk about ChatGPT. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, which is a fancy way of saying it's a powerful language model created by OpenAI. GPT can generate human-like text which makes it incredibly useful for various applications including chatbots and virtual assistants. You can think of ChatGPT as a super smart virtual body that you can talk to, ask questions and get responses as if you were talking to a real person. Now let me show you the practical application of ChatGPT. I'm going to get onto ChatGPT window and I'm going to put in some prompts and we will see how ChatGPT responds. Right, so here I am on ChatGPT.OpenAI.com. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to show you how to create content. Now ChatGPT is an advanced model of what was ChatGPT 1, ChatGPT 2 and now ChatGPT 3.5. There is also a paid version that's available for purchase which is the ChatGPT 4. But we'll talk about ChatGPT 4 in the upcoming videos. So what content can we create? We can do anything under the sun. We can create content for companies, for your personal blog, for videos for uh, your kids, right? You can do anything that you want to on ChatGPT. It's not just limited to content. You can write code. You can ask questions. Now, let me introduce the concept called prompts. Now, what are prompts? Prompts in layman language mean messages that are sent out to ChatGPT. Okay, so let me write down a prompt so that you understand my explanation. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to ask a question. What is the square root of nine? All right, now it was a simple math question and I got the answer within seconds. But hey, Aditya, didn't you tell us that ChatGPT is meant for creating content? Well, yes. This is just an example of how ChatGPT actually works. It depends on the kind of prompt that you are providing to the engine. Now, let me, uh, let me you know, try to modify this prompt. Write a story along with a short jingle on the square root of 59. Now, this seems absurd, but there you go. Here is a story that Chad GPT is curating on the basis of the funny, funny prompt which is write a story along with a short jingle on the square root of 59 and here you, here you go. This story has got this title which says the quest for square root 59 and the story is amazing and here is the jingle. Oh, I love it. And there you have it. Artificial intelligence and getting started with chat GPT in a nutshell. It's an exciting world out there and AI is constantly evolving. 
So who knows what amazing things it might bring in the future. If you want to see more content on AI, chatbots or anything else related to technology, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. And until next time, keep exploring the wonders of technology and AI.